Hello. It's been like three months, hasn't it? But hopefully we have everything figured out here. And that people can get on soon. took me a bit. I couldn't figure out why one of my cameras wasn't working. It took me a good 30 minutes to figure that one out. Hello. Hi, Lauren. Good morning. <sighs> that, that took me like 30 minutes to figure out. See, this is why the smart people make sure that everything works like the day before. So they're not Figuring it out the day of. Hey, Amy, how are you? It has been three months since I've been live. I find this unacceptable. Hi, Rachel. How are you? How's the new house? Oops, I just pulled it there. Hello, Elizabeth. Is Elizabeth your preferred or, or do you shorten it at all? I didn't think that I'd get any Australians right now. Must be really late there. Well, maybe just like your late part of the evening. Oh my gosh, why can't I get this through? There we go. My webcam not working kind of has me flustered. But I got it working. <laughs> I couldn't understand it. Like I could get it to work in my laptops. Um, like native camera app, but I couldn't get it to work in any other camera software thing. <sighs> but because I could get it to work, I knew it wasn't the camera itself. So anyway, figured it out. Liz. Okay. I will try to remember Liz. You're driving to Texas. <laughs> you can't. Okay. You went to the new um, cross-stitch store. Didn't you, um, Rachel? That was this last Saturday, wasn't it? Hi, Anna, or Anna, because I can't remember, but hi. Girly, hello. I know you've been waiting for this a long time. <laughs> You're very good at reminding me. <laughs> Hi, Chrissy. I know I'm so... Even Kaylin is berating me about how long it, it's been since I've gone live. We were both thinking about just how long it's been. And she looked at me like, you need to fix this. 
She's like, you need to just pick a day and 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 we'll make it work. She's so supportive. I love it. Uh, we're going to have kitty friends today. Hi, Giselle. You've not ever met my cats, but I have my bedroom door open so that they can come and go. But I have one cat down here underneath my project and this this loud one. Say hi. This is Jaden. She's loud. Kara, come here. Come here, let me say hi. Oh, the camera's just, that one's Kara, the white one. Come here. I know. She's not happy with me right now, so this is Kara. <laughs> oh, you're okay, baby. You're okay. I know. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, Pip is off guarding her food because, I don't know, she can't just eat it. When did I start? Um, I don't know, Chrissy. I know why I started. <laughs> oh, you guys are actually blending. I love it. Oh, they're, one of them. Um, one of my cats is, is 15. The other one turns 15 next month. So they're old. And so to see them playing a little bit is so fun because you don't get to see that very often. Anyway, um, okay, so I started Extreme Cross Country again, which is actually how this piece first started. The first shelf, most of that was Extreme Cross Country. Uh, but I went back to it because I need it. Hey, kitty. Uh, I might have to close my bedroom door. Um, they're making me lose my train of thought so bad. <laughs> um, I needed to clear up like some headspace with a lot of like um, change in my life. Good change, that's fine, but any change just takes me a while to get used to. And I was finding my time was a little bit more limited and extreme cross country is quicker. So. So I started uh, just doing all the black. And I didn't know if I was going to keep with it or not. Because who knows? I didn't, at the time I didn't know it. But um, it's been very good because uh, I've needed that brain space. So, and it's fun. It's, it really is like a return to like the beginnings of this project and it's so fun. Let's see. Girly, I, um, I do get a lot of questions on my setup and I actually just got a new thing to help this setup. So, um, I'm going to, I'll make a video. I say that I am, I will make a video <laughs> on, um, like just what equipment I use and the software, um, I use to put everything together. Um, that's all. I don't consider myself a professional and an expert by any means, but, um, that is, but I do get a lot of questions about how I get this set up. So 
always willing to share, of course. Um, oh, Amy, I'm sorry. Upset stomach. Oh, Easter was a long time ago. My first date with my boyfriend was on Easter. Y'all don't know so much about this unless you're in my Discord. <sighs> Thank you, Linda. And hello. Oh, my kitty is upset that I'm talking, I, I betcha. She does this every time I'm teaching piano as she comes and makes her presence known. Um, oh gosh, I, I, I like different methods depending on my headspace. The diagonal that I did before was still a form of cross country. It just wasn't extreme cross country, but I took the color from the diagonal and then I just stitched it out wherever it needed to go. I like that method because it, it just gives me parameters on what, how to work, um, like what color to choose. It doesn't leave any ninja stitches out. Um, you can see the picture coming like it's there. Whereas here, like you see a building in a different way and I still love it too. Um, it's just, it's just different. And so I do like it both ways. Um, just depending on my headspace. This one is faster. Extreme cross country is faster because I'm not searching out the next color to pull. I just like, this is what I have right here. It's on an Annie's Keeper and I have it just loose and out because I'm only working with one color right now. And so I don't have to go hunting for any other color. It's just this one. There will probably come a time when I go back to just filling it all in. That's what happened on the first shelf is I got to a point where um, I just wanted to see it all filled in. And so I did. Uh, but I think I got to like 21, 22% or something like that. Extreme cross country before I even started filling it in. There's actually a highlight bubble on my Instagram. If you've um, not ever seen that, every percentage I put up, um, I put it in my stories in order to have this highlight bubble. But if you go there on my Instagram profile page to the highlight bubble that's there, you can see the beginnings of this project. And so you can actually see the point in which I switch from extreme cross country to just filling it in from left to right all the way. It blew my mind when I started doing that just because of seeing all like the saturated color and everything. So good. This right now has three colors in it. It's 310, 3371, and now it's um, 814. Ah, <laughs> girly. <laughs> I mean, taking a trip to the U.S., that might not be any cheaper than shipping, but Anna's Keepers are great. There are 
other floss drop options though. So, I mean, you're in Norway, so that could be difficult either way. Um, I like Annie's Keepers, they're durable. They, um, I like the shape of them. And I like how they hook into the um, hangers really well because they've got like this um, divot here that snaps in. And they also, I don't have them, but they have guides like these but without the hooks so that you can put them in your like project bag. So, and, and they do still have this hole so you can put them on a ring also. So there's, there are reasons I like Annie's Keepers over other ones, but there are cheaper options. I just, I do know that. And they're not bad options. They're just different options. Um, so like you could put them on a ring, but not necessarily the storage slide like I have. Hi, energy lady. How are you? Oh, ooh, Amy, I've never done corner to corner in crochet, but I have wanted to try it. I just haven't done it yet. Um, I, I think, I actually think diagonal is really helpful for people who are on paper pattern. Uh, because, well, diagonal or like your columns or just like a page or whatever, a diagonal, you could just take a ruler and draw a line and there's your diagonal. And then you can just stitch with that. You don't even have to mark it off if you're used to not marking off. So I don't, I don't think you, you need to have, um, a software like Pattern Keeper or um, Markup RXP in order to to do it. I just happen to like software because um, I like that I can just search the symbol and see exactly where I'm going. <laughs> It takes way less brain power. Yes, it's true. Your trip also um, means seeing seeing family, friends, and probably getting more things than just like all the supplies. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, a 3D laser. Yeah. Especially because of like what shipping costs are for you. You could always just make yourself more um, 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 floss drops. That's what they're called. There are people who use like paper ones, well not paper, but like cardboard or like playing cards. They do wear out though. So as a long-term storage kind of option, I don't think they're great, but for a project, why not? Like my master set is what's on my Annie's Keepers. Super handy, love them. Oh, I hear Pip. She's gonna come say hi. You can come in, Pip.
I'm right here. You can come in. There's Pip. Come say hi to friends. Oh, come here. Come here. There you go. Here's Pip. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I just jabbed you. Oh, $90 shipping. Yeah, that's, oh man. That's hard. It's, it's hard when you do want to support, but you can't, like, that shipping is not worth it. Hi. <laughs> Girlie says hi. Yes, she does. I don't know if this means that she ate her breakfast or or not. Hey Sharon, how are you? You've been making so much progress on your nativity. Hi V. Oh. Um okay, so I've not done tent stitching on a pattern that is mixed like that. However, what I think I would do, if I were to do that, I would make the tent stitch like one strand less than whatever I was regularly doing, or the half stitch. So I'm thinking of like my Woodland Enchantress, which has full cross and tent stitch. And the reason they do that is to create depth. So the tent stitch is like the background or sorry, I can't say tent stitch because of how you're referring to this. The half cross is the background. And and so there's like much more fullness to the full cross and it brings it forward and draws the eye and lets the half stitch be in the background. So I think that if I were to to make the full cross on that pattern be a half cross, then I would make the charted half cross be a strand less, or maybe two strands less. It kind of depends. I don't, I would just make them less than what? the full cross was. That way it still gives the dimension of of the fuller stitch and then the lesser stitch. I hope that answered your question. If it didn't make sense, let me know. I will try to explain better, but I think that's what I would do. And you are, you're past that 50%, Sharon. It's so exciting. I don't even know how to say it. Co, co, fo, co, fold, fo, it. I should not try. Denmark. It would make sense where Gurley sees it around. Co-fed. Okay. So you don't say the O. I was trying to English it and and then I quickly realized that's not what you should do. Okay, good V. You're welcome. <laughs> Co food. And in, in America, we would say co fode probably. I imagine. What do you hear mostly, Sharon? Hi, Pauline. Oh, 
uh, my my maiden name is Samoan, so I understand Sharon. Lusa gets uh, pronounced all kinds of ways. When I got when I got divorced, I could put in my paperwork if I wanted to revert back to my maiden name. I'm like, uh, my maiden's name's more complicated. <laughs> and I've lived with the married name for longer than I, not longer, but like almost as long. <laughs> like Kofoed. That's not even how you would say it in English, because that's two vowels in English. The first one, you don't say both. Anyway, in, um, for La Ulusa, you say all the vowels. That's how you do that in Samoan. They don't do silent vowels. But people try to not say all the vowels or they just get confused on it it doesn't matter it is what it is i'm not so particular I, I think it's fun to learn about where people's names come from and how you actually say it and do my best <laughs> to say it <laughs> the way it's meant to. Oh, Susie. Well, that was the thing. When um, in divorce paperwork, they're like, it they'll just revert it all back so like that would be nice um and i want i i want to change my first name legally but again like ugh, then i have to prove the name change all the time it's more paperwork i don't know something i'm still debating and i may do it one day. Sir, Sir Goethe. Like that. Hey, James. How's the Philippines? Hello, Becca. There are so many new people to the lives right now. I love this. All the friends. I love this so much. I just finished it, but I need to get more. All weekend long, y'all. 24 hours. What will we talk about? I have no idea. Ooh, you, you changed your first, that's, yeah, if I remarry, I might do all changes then, like, if I'm going to change my last name again, then Might as well change my first name at the same time. Like, then it's the same paperwork, right? <laughs> uh, 
All right, Sharon. You know how this works. You can come and go. Whenever. Oh, Chrissy, I put this on my calendar. So it sits there and reminds me. The next one's in October. That one will be very interesting because I will actually be driving from New Jersey back here that mm -hmm. morning before I can even start stitching for the weekend. But I'm going to do it. We'll figure it out. That's not even this time, so it's not even like I need to figure it out this time. But yes. I will be here for 24 hours of streaming and chatting and I don't know. I'm sure singing will come up sometime. It always does. My plans for this are vague as always. I'm going to make sure I stitch on my bookshelf and the rabbit. Guys, the rabbit. He's at 92%. That's like 2,500 stitches? Let me see. He's close. Why can't you learn because you forget? <laughs> the rabbit is so close. I need it done by Thursday, um, which is very, very doable. But somebody did suggest to do it like I could finish it this weekend. 2,482 stitches remaining on that little rabbit. Didn't you just get an order for one, two, three stitch, girly? The green? The, yeah, yeah, the green variegated, right? So beyond the bookshelf and the rabbit, I don't have any plans on what to stitch. Probably would be a good time for me to work on whip go pieces. Honestly. And I haven't worked on Woodland Enchantress in what it feels like months because the rabbit has consumed me. <laughs> I want that done. I just find myself with less stitching time now. Which is actually a really good thing. <laughs> I still stitch plenty. Um, but it is a good thing. Or Lord of the Rings. 
or Lord of the Rings, that would just be pure fun with nothing attached to it. Because, yeah, I really, I just have so many projects to choose from. Well, hopefully your order does come in today. I have something arriving today that I'm excited for, but I can't, I won't even be able to do anything. I can't open it or anything <laughs> until after this weekend. But I'm excited about it. I'm not even going to talk about it. That's all I'm going to share about what that package is. But you guys will see it. Mm, beginning of August? Unless you're in Discord. I will probably share it in Discord. Before then. We will see. Uh, girly, you said it was really cold, right? It was like 46 degrees Fahrenheit for you. Um, I don't know where it's at now, but you can have some of my heat. Please take the humidity with you as well. I give it to you freely. You have won this giveaway. Um, it's been so hot and humid. Every day, all day. So gross. My lawn needs mowed real bad. But I can't start before 7 a.m. And oftentimes by 7, it's like still, it's like 100% humidity because the dew point. <laughs> It's like 70 degrees <laughs> in the morning. And then from there, it just gets hotter. The humidity is so gross. Yes, I am in Virginia. Are you in Virginia too? Like the, when the real feel is in a hundred, like it's 20 degrees higher than the actual temperature every day, all the time. Gross. I like being warm, but I don't like the humidity. Oh, okay, so you're like up north. I'm down near um, Richmond. Of course, then I just had to think about that. <sighs> oh, 
I love hot weather, girly. I just don't love humid hot weather. That's all. <laughs> it is so melty. Oh, it's rainy season in the Philippines. Do you live in an area where you have to deal with like a lot of flooding, James? Or other... Um, like real big, I don't know. I want to say like tsunamis and hurricanes and stuff. I don't know. What, what do you get in the Philippines? <gasps> Your winter is so cold, girly. Uh, hey, Ball, how are you? I know it's been a while. But Kaylin is on my case. She is scolding me for how long it's been. And we discussed a regular day when I could potentially do this. Oh. V, are you currently in the Philippines? James has a Flustube channel that you can also go follow. Rose golden pink webcam? Whoa. Mine are just black. Nature Boy's looking so good. <laughs> I can't. My fingers are slipping. Um. Yeah, muggy is a very appropriate phrase. Sixty percent on Nature Boy. It does look so good. <laughs> um, Jemima, the rocking stitcher is um she and i are planning our super size finishes for the same date next year she just posted or well i just saw it to do this morning so anyway she posted her um like an update picture and I realized, like, well, no, like, not no wonder. She is, she's catching up to me real, real fast. I think 
she's at 60% now or something like that. But her total stitch count, I didn't realize how different it was from mine. I thought they were very, very similar. And I guess they are six. Well, she's like 660,000 and this one is 722,000. Ooh, flash flooding in a downtown area. That doesn't sound fun. It's like when you... Any super size is ginormous. And I just assume they're all like the same stitch count, but they're not. And I shouldn't assume that. I don't know why I do. That's where the end of that thought was. I was like, I should have picked a smaller super size. <laughs> <sighs> Hello, Jaden. A couple weeks ago, I was in California to um, visit family. It was a family reunion weekend for my Chinese side. Peace, love, and stitches. Hello. How are you? Um my Chinese side name is um, the last name is Quan with a Q not a K and my my great grandfather well my great grandparents were the ones who um, immigrated from China and I don't think I ever met them if I did it was like baby but I don't think I ever met them I can't remember um, I'm trying to remember when they died and I, I can't right now but this reunion was is like their descendants so their children and, and and on down wow it's an even square Chrissy that's that's a bigger stitch count than this one absolutely the Josephine wall is a good super size max color option <laughs> she's looking she's looking for the cat <laughs> cat's right oh no cat left I don't know where she is she'll come back once upon a fairy tale I love it so good I love that so good that's a good day This weekend is going to be brought to you by Crumble Cookies. I don't have them yet. 
but like I'm getting four and then every six hours of stitching I will eat one. I will Chrissy because I don't the making isn't um, bringing to mind which Josephine wall it is. Hi Cheryl. I'm doing great. How are you? Let's see here. the making what flavors am I going to get okay I am going to get Rocky Road uh, which is I mean it's Rocky Road and it has a marshmallow filling I guess um, blueberry cheesecake The churro one. Oh my gosh. Cookie, uh, yeah, cookie dough. There's a, there's a cookie dough one. Those are the four I'm getting. The making Josephine wall. Okay, Suki, don't look it up this way. Just look it up on their website. That's what you're getting, Chrissy. <laughs> Are you getting all four of those? That's funny. I'm struggling. Charts by artists. Let's try this way. I don't think that, I mean, your father has to be your biological father in order to have that connection. But it is something, that's a big thing to deal with. A big, yeah, adjustment when, when you think it's something. I'm struggling to find it. It's not just searching for it. I'll have to look for this later because it's not it's not easily finding me that Josephine Wall one A 
to look for it later. Hearing those flavors makes your tummy rumble. <laughs> yeah, they're good ones. Um, hey, covered in floss. Oh, please remind me if you have another name you like to go by, because I can't remember. I'm okay. So the Grim Reaper was very funny that you brought him up. I did not see him, but I until you said it, and then I looked, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, I see that." <laughs> it's called making. Okay, I'm going to. I will. I will go searching for that. Dobby, that's right. It's because now that I see you, I, I, I just need to connect the two names. Because when you came into Discord, I knew that. Dobby, 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 Dobby. Oh, 70 p.m. in law. <laughs> that, that would probably help me. Let's see here. That's so pretty. Two hundred and twenty six colors. Very nice, very nice. good birthday start um, my plan for 24 hours of cross stitch is like nine hours today and tomorrow and then six hours on Sunday I don't I don't have a big time crunch on Sunday like I often do so I have a lot more flexibility which is nice I don't have to pull like 11 hour days of stitching. Those are fun, but they are exhausting. It's already fairly tiring to, to... oh, hi. I don't know what she wants because I fed her. I haven't even decided if I'll do three days worth of stitching on my bookshelf all at once or if I'll do it every day. I, I haven't decided that one yet. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. 
You're, you're talking, so it must be for me. Because she, she really does do this when I'm teaching piano, too. She comes down and is like, you're going to give me attention, right? Doing 24 hours of cross stitch is so much fun. Like, I, I look forward to it so much. I love it. Um, I was, I was talking about this earlier. I don't know what all I will stitch on. I will stitch on my bookshelf and I will stitch on the rabbit. Beyond that, I don't know. It might be a good I idea for me to stitch on Whipco pieces, though, so. Because I've only completed January, February, and March, and half of April. <laughs> so... <laughs> I need to do that. So we could have quite a variety of projects popping up. Or I could go rogue and just, I mean, is it really rogue? I don't have a plan. So you can't go rogue if you don't have a plan. Oh, there's no apology for that. You know that. People come and go as they need to, and I have zero problems saying the same thing over again to different people. I, I really don't. We are one hour in. Could I finish the rabbit in nine hours? Hi from Texas. Um, possibly. Um, it is possible. I'm not sure how long it takes me to get through one percentage there. I think it maybe depends on how focused I am, obviously. It really depends on how focused I am. Um, like, I have half the colors finished in it.
that would definitely be a win to uh, finish it over this weekend. I might give it a start. Well, when I work on it, I guess I'll get a better feel for if I want to, like, totally finish it. Hi, Julia. You're not the only one here and working, so. I know Sharon and Chrissy are both working also. That's true. You were you were with your grandkids the last time. Like all weekend. news is extreme cross country is so much faster so getting V stitches in won't take as much time as it it did the last 24 hours of cross stitch which leaves me a lot of time to stitch on other things <laughs> V's working too. That's the great thing about these lives is that it's just like a hanging out place. Like we're just, it's fine. Um, the idea is 24 hours in three days. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I sleep, so I never do a straight 24 hours. I just, I like to break it up. I also just go by when I, like, how... How long am I streaming for? So you know how sometimes I just talk and don't stitch? Or I'm looking up a pattern that somebody's mentioned, which is about to be Virgo's Virgo from So to Stitch, because I don't know what that one looks like. Um, I, I count that all as part of my 24 hours of cross stitch. I, I really like pushing myself to get the full 24 hours, but there's a lot of people who um, don't. They just try to get as much as they can get and are really satisfied. Like, that's, that's pretty much the point, is to give yourself, like, a stitchy retreat weekend. which is what this always feels like because I get to talk to all of you and I get to hear about what it is that you guys are stitching on. And my hamstring is really tight. <laughs> I've worked out on Wednesday and they're still really tight. Let's see, soda stitch. It would help if I typed the right ones. Um, Virgo. Oh, that's nice. That's like some nice, like, block stitching. Oh, it's so little. Three and a, like less than four inches. That's so tiny. That's cute. 
I love it. Rachel showed the current limited edition chart from Heaven and Earth Design. I'm still thinking about it. That was like two or three days ago when she showed it. And now I'm like still thinking. It's a fox. Um, like the, well, it's a fairy riding a fox with, uh, is it a sack? And a little mouse? Now I can't remember, but the image of the fairy is what's mostly in my mind right now. That's what keeps coming to me. It might be a limited edition that I actually purchased. We shall see. I'm letting myself sit on it because I don't need the chart, but I'd like it. But is that a good enough reason? I don't know. The Last Supper. Which um, company's Last Supper are you doing? Alicia from Adventures of Stitching is doing Heaven and Earth Designs Last Supper. And it's like, it's like four inches tall. <laughs> I think she's doing it on 28 count. But she does it since it's a heaven and earth design. There's no backstitch in that one. So I'm just curious which one yours is. Cane basket. See, I, I thought it was like a... I was thinking bag, but then I was like, that doesn't write because it had texture on it. A mouse. 37 skeins of winter white. I feel like that needs a background removal. That that's what that tells me. Is 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 to find some lovely hand-dyed wintry kind of fabric and not stitch 37 skeins of winter white. Actually, I quite like that idea. Waiting takes so long. It is, but the art that you do, Pauline, is gorgeous. Your sketching is, like, your... You're good. It's so fun to see. See it. I didn't even know you could color with colored pencils the way that people do it like you. Like where you blend them together and stuff. I didn't even know that was a thing until the last couple years. And I've still not ever tried it. I'm a little intimidated, I think by the idea of trying. I 
I think with white and black, I don't know if it's that the thread is different, although I do think... Anyway, I don't, I don't know that it's that the thread is different, but I think it's the way that the light reflects on the absolutes, right? Like white, white and black have like either all the color or none of the color spectrum. So I, I feel like that's why white and black tends to look uh, challenging when you're stitching with it. I could be very wrong. You don't really think about it. I, th I think it's like, I mean, I, I guess I just don't understand how people blend, I don't know. There's probably some technique I don't know about and that's okay, I could just give it a try. I have colored pencils and I have coloring books, I should just try it. Hi kitty, did you come back for more? More what though? I'm not petting you. Nope, I'm stitching. It's hard to say no to her. She's 15, like, how do you say no to your 15 year old cat? It should be a quick project. <laughs> Well, if you're dreading the back stitch, then that might be why. Are you doing the back stitch as you go or waiting until the end? Either you finish this or you buy your mom a vacation trip. Um, finish it, V. I mean, I'm sure your mom would love to go on a vacation, but. Kate, right? Not cat, it's Kate. Ripple by Anna D Dittman. I don't know her Ripple, I know her Anna very well. You've missed these so much. Ah, you and so many other people. <laughs> I've missed them too. It's just been, um, like just trying to adjust to change in my life, which is good. Good change. Um, and also, yeah. I, uh, what I will, <laughs> it's good change, but it's also very different from the last 24 hours of cross stitch. Like, 
yeah it uh-huh it's it's um different i need to go back to the paid website here um it's like yes i am very happy i'm dating somebody but it is not who i thought i'd be dating at this time anyway it's it's not who I talked about three months ago or whenever, April, May, June, July, three months ago. <laughs> that, that's the biggest thing. It's not the same guy. Oh, Ripple, that's really pretty. She does such good faces. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Okay, so what happened with him? Uh, in summary, <laughs> oh man, the summary, the summary is that, um, He, um, attacked my character. Okay. His, um, yeah. I've had a lot of time to think about this, but... Uh, he accused me of a lot of things and would not listen to anything else. He refused to listen to my side. He had me even like, um, he, he had, yeah, it, he had me questioning things a lot. Like, really, is that what I'm doing? Like, ugh, no, it was bad. Um, and I was really 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 angry um about many things about that um <laughs> anyway i haven't talked to him since at all and um i thought that i would grieve at some point and there are times when i'm sad i'm sad that he did that. Um, there are many things I'm sad about. And, like, I hope he's learning how to be happy. Um, however, he, like, I was telling Alara, I don't know, a couple weeks or so after it happened, I, I said, I thought I would grieve, but I really haven't at all. And she said, you already did that. You did that in January and February. And, and like the truth of that has really stuck with me. How, how much I did do that in January and February. And And, and so that the final conversation I had with him, the way that it happened, uh, was really like an immediate releasal from within me in a way that I didn't have any other time. And Yeah. Just. The things he was saying about me. 
were all based on his own personal trauma and reactions. It wasn't actually me. And if he wasn't go willing to have a, a, an actual conversation, then what? How could there be anything else? So, um, no, actually, so I'm dating somebody. Um, uh, he is, I don't know if I ever said anything about when I, you know, so you know Mushu, but I don't know if I said anything about Cricky. Um, that was his Mushu character name <laughs> that Kaylin gave him <laughs> when Mushu got named Mushu. Um, anyway, his name is Steven, and I uh, mentioned him on a floss tube. I watched a video with him. He's a friend I've had for like three years, three and a half, something like that. And uh, like we watched a movie together on Easter um, and <laughs> my friendship with him is actually why Mushu blew up at me um, so there's there is that um, Mushu couldn't believe that there was a man who could express interest in somebody, but then be told, like, my heart's involved with somebody else, and so this can only just stay friends. Um, he couldn't believe that there was a man who would accept a boundary and honor it that was communicated to them. And so by me continuing to dis to talk um, with a friend that I've had for a while, before there was any liking from either one of us, was um, yeah, he wanted me to just cut communications because he felt threatened. Even though, even though, uh, even though Stephen was very much honoring the boundary that I told him. Um, anyway. Uh, so I just allowed things to happen with Steven um, because once that conversation with Mushu happened, I did not, like I wasn't emotionally attached to him any longer. And like it was this freedom that I really hadn't felt before. Um, and I really liked feeling. And I just, like my heart had let go of him, which was really good. Um, which then allowed this, I don't know, f friendship with Steven to change and blossom and it's, been amazing um it's been so good so good i search for red flags 
and I haven't found um, any. And I'm very thorough at this point. Very thorough. Um, but yeah. He may or may not pop in here from time to time. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I said, just don't be silent. Like you at least mean to let me know that you're here if you come in here. Um, I, I can't even argue with that, Kate. Um, I, I do still think that he's a good man. I do. Um, I think he allowed his trauma to dictate his response. And so he just, he has a lot more healing to do in his life because, um, I was, I can't be, I can't be his solution. I, like, Like, how far was that going to go? Was he just always going to see any buddy that I talked to as being a threat? Especially any male? Was he just going to always see that as a threat? Was he never going to believe that when I said I'm committed to this relationship to make it work. Like if he wasn't, could he really not trust that? Like, I was supposed to have a chaperone to my conversations with Stephen. I wasn't, like, like, that I wasn't allowed a one-on-one -on -one conversation or, or activity or whatever. Like, I hadn't even met Steven in person at that point. He was a friend that I had met online and Steven had kept in touch with me over um, the, oh, oh, many things. Uh, yeah. I don't know, like, Alara knows all the things as they happened. So, <laughs> he didn't actually say chaperone, but he was like, there was nobody else, like, no other friends watching that video with you. Like, it was just you and him online, like, there was nobody else. I'm like, I, I'm 36 years old and I'm supposed to have a chaperone with a friend? Like, you cannot trust? Well, things happen when it's one-on-one, -on -one, no matter what. And in this day and age, please, at some point, it wasn't just going to be males that caused him problems if he couldn't fix his... like trauma like if this was going to be triggering and he kept saying things like did you talk about like 
emotional things with him. And I was like, I talk about emotional things with everybody. Like, did he forget what I am with this community? How you and I talk here? Like, but all of a sudden these things that he like, like all of these good things about me, he was slamming into this negative lens. And he was unwilling, absolutely unwilling to hear anything else. Like I was just a liar now. An untrustworthy liar, that is what I was. I don't know what I am. I don't know if he has shifted his view at all now. And I really don't care. <laughs> okay, that makes me laugh. It, it, it was, it was ridiculous. Um, it was a ridiculous conversation. Like, one in which he was absolutely unwilling to budge. Absolutely not willing to, um, like, it was such a crazy different side of him that I had not ever experienced. And I don't believe that it's like, I don't think it's who he wants to be. Anyway, over it, very much. I'm very happy now. We can talk about Steven all we want now. Um, Kaylin has not yet met Steven, but she will next month. Um, she has like, they've said hi to each other and stuff. and when we're talking online and whatever, but, um, uh, Kaylin is much happier with Steven over Mushu. Uh, she did name him Mushu after Mushu from the second movie, uh, where he is insanely jealous and is like trying to like dictate slash ruin Mulan's life kind of a thing um yeah anyway so Steven is great he really is He treats me very well. Thank you. I'm happy with how real it is, how like there's nothing that I can't say. There's nothing I can't share. And that doesn't mean that I'm, that I want to say and share all the things. Um, I was just like yesterday, I was realizing 
I haven't gone live here in three months. Like it's, things are different than they were three months ago. Because that, that thing with Mushi, that happened in, like the very beginnings of May, like that first weekend of May. And because I haven't gone live, then yeah. Like if you've been on my Discord, that then you've you've heard the story. Um, my floss tube at large doesn't know the story. <laughs> um, like they didn't know much about Mushu in the first place, so they don't. Anyway. It, it, it's just kind of funny thinking about like who who's who knows and who doesn't. Like on my Facebook, I've never even said that I'm divorced. And now I'm like, oh, if I post something about having a boyfriend, I'm going to get a lot of questions like, what happened to, what happened to your ex? I mean, they would use his name, but I don't know if I've used his name here and I think I just will continue not to, but. <laughs> All they need is a beard, Dobby. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> he he is. He has a uh, he's he's redheaded and he's got a beard. Um, he. What can I tell you about him? Um, <laughs> hi, Shauna. He's 11 inches taller than I am. So he calls me, he calls me tiny. And I'm like, I've never really felt tiny except standing next to you. <laughs> I don't mind the height difference at all. Not at all. Um, it's, it's fun. <laughs> you never know, girly. And, like, I never put myself out there ever as, like, like being single and looking and uh and and Steven so eleven inches <laughs> he's six foot three inches, yes, I'm five foot four, <laughs> so yes, eleven inches taller um. <laughs> he's like, I think my oldest son is probably taller than you. And he's like, 12. I'm like, well, you're not short. I don't consider myself short. 5'4 is average. 5'4 to 5'7 is like average for a female. It's very funny. I don't remember what I was saying before that now. That's okay. It'll come back. Or it won't. Oh, oh, I know what I was saying. So, um, 
I met Steven playing World of Warcraft, uh, which I had played on and off for several years um, from my, because of my ex-husband. Um, when I had my, well, it was 2020 when I met Stephen um, through that. We don't know, there was no like, there's no first memory of this was the moment we first like encountered. We would have just, we were like in the same guild. Um, and so we did things together, but what stands out is, um, so, so he played a tank, which is like the character that is in the forefront and you have all the enemies like fight him or attack him so that everybody else can like not die like he's got a lot of health and armor and stuff um so he was a tank and i was the healer and um so like his first functional memory of of me was Me trying to kill him by bringing over more enemy mobs. Because, like, he was trying to die, but his his gear and everything was so good that it wouldn't allow his health to go down. And so we were just trying to get him to die any way possible. Because everybody else was dead. <laughs> That's why. The, the entire rest of the group was dead, and I was like... Like... We, you need to die somehow. Like, how, how can we kill you? So that's his first memory, is me trying to kill him. Um, but I really liked him being my tank, and he liked me being his healer. We, we worked really well together. Um, and when I stopped playing... He just would reach out every once in a while, like, um, staying in contact with me. And uh, he knew that the reason I had stopped playing had to do with getting separated. And he had already been through um, a divorce himself a couple years earlier and had told me like, made sure that I knew that, like, if I needed somebody to talk to, he was there. It was something that he had wished he had when he was going through, like, his divorce. And nobody really wanted to be that for him. And and so he wanted to make sure that I knew. And so he just kept in touch every once in a while and... And then this year is when, like, it just started being more. I know, you know that you have a good tank when you are deliberately trying to kill him and it takes you forever. And you're like, oh my gosh, would you die already? <sighs> Amy, that's very funny. You want to be called average? Like... It's very cute that he calls me tiny. Like, he's like, you're just so tiny. And yes, to him, I am tiny. And it's, he doesn't, he likes it. He thinks it's so cute. And I don't mind. And I'm like, well, yes, you are tall. <laughs> you are tall. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't call me short though. He does call me tiny, which I think helps. He's just like, you're just so tiny. Our first in-person date was a Lord of the Rings um, marathon with the extended edition. 
on his ginormous TV. It's like an 82 inch or something like that. It's huge. Um, yeah. I went and visited him and he picked me up at the airport and this was like, yes, the first time that we are meeting. And he gets out of the car and I'm standing on the curb and he's standing on off the curb and I'm just like, yep, yep, you're tall. <laughs> He's like, and you're even standing on the curb. It was very funny. He, um, like, got me flowers, too. Um, it was a variety of purple flowers. It was very lovely and very unexpected. I'm like, you got flowers? He was like, well, of course. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, what's the plan besides um, our... Lord of the Rings Marathon. He was like, the plan is solely to get you to want to come back. <laughs> so, yeah. We already had a really good foundation of friendship and, like, getting to know each other and stuff. And so it was kind of like meeting was kind of a last thing. Um... to call it like dating like exclusive dating <laughs> and then he doesn't he, I get we get to his house and I was like do you have like a vase or something that I can um put these flowers in he was like I'm an idiot <laughs> He has nothing. I'm like, okay, well, what about like a bowl? <laughs> so he gets me a bowl. Um, and I just like, I cut them down and arranged them in this bowl. And they were very lovely. It was so fun. <laughs> he was like, I'm such an idiot. I get you flowers and then I don't even think to make sure I have a way to, like, for you to, to put them. I was like, you're, you're a bachelor. Like, it's fine. Like, why would you think of things like that? Did I do any Lord of the Rings stitching? Um, I do remember I kept stitching because I stitch every day. This would have been in May, so yes. I think I had the Shire with me. The, um, the Riolis kit. because it was a paper pattern and I didn't want my tablet and all the threads. So yeah, that's what I had. He is. He's really sweet. He is five years older than I am. And um, <laughs> and I like him a whole lot. Uh, he lives in New Hampshire, so, um, and he has a, he has a dog and a cat. His, his dog is, um, is old and blind and has like allergies and thyroid problems and anyway um so in order to see him I need to go up there um plus he has a job and stuff you know but 
um, it, it's mostly the dog. Like he can't, he can't leave the dog. He has to take care of her. Um, and she is so sweet. Her name's Fira, and we got along just fine the first weekend. The second time I visited, she, like, as soon as she smelled me, she started, like, she got so excited. She, like, was wagging her tail all over the place and doing that cute whine that dogs do, like, how happy they are, you know? I was like, she remembers me, and she likes me. I love it. This cat likes me, too. But he's a cat. Like, they show their like very differently. I think he's a keeper. Like when I say that I've looked for red flags, uh, I'm, <laughs> I really have. Um, I also am like really unwilling to present like a, good side impression of me, right? I'm not, I'm just, I'm just going to be me, complexity and all, like. And, and so I kept bringing up, like, things and topics that, like, forced us into a variety of different conversations. Um, because because if he was going to like me, he needed to like me for me, like all of me. Otherwise, this is not something that it's going to work, you know? Like, I wanted the to know that the communication was able to be there. Um, that we could talk about fun things, inconsequential things. Like, that we could have, that we could care about what each other was doing just because it was what the other person was doing. But also... How, how do we approach problems? Um, how do we let each other in when there are problems? Are we going to have problems with each other? Do we know how to talk in, in those kind of ways? Um, and I just kept deliberately doing that. Because I was not interested in like anything else. Could not feel where this tail was. I will also, I'll tell this story. Um, approaching when I was going to first meet him. Uh, like I, as like pretty much all females do everywhere, like we have to think about our safety in a way that males typically don't have to. And 
so that was already on my mind. I already knew um, safety measures I was going to have in place. Um, during during my my trip to to see him and meet him and everything. Uh, but he also was thinking about it, and it wasn't something that he and I talked about. Like it was just something that I was naturally doing, um, and it didn't occur to me to say anything to him because that I don't know. It just why would you? It was just something that you do, right? But then he, like, out of the blue sends me his, like, home address. And he was like, this is for, like, Kaylin to know and have. Um, like, he was thinking of safety measures as well. And being proactive about it. Like it wasn't just, you know, oh, she'll take care of it. It was, this is what I can do to like make sure that she feels safe. Because if, if Suki doesn't feel safe, then with me, if Suki doesn't feel safe with me, then then this can't go anywhere, right? Um, so the address went to um, Kaylin and Alara. And I don't know, there might be some of you who don't know who Alara is, but she's another floss tuber and she's like my bestie, okay? Um, should definitely check her channel out. Anyway, so when I sent Alara his address, Alara said, so I'm trying not to be like that paranoid friend, but I totally want to ask for a picture of his driver's license. I immediately texted him and I said, I said, um, my bestie is um, asking for a picture of your driver's license. Immediately sends it. And his question was, is it, is the lighting too dark? Do I need to take it again? <laughs> and I sent that to Alara and she like sends like the cry emoji and she's like, he didn't even hesitate. <laughs> I love that. Like, that's the kind of person that he is. Um, he's like, I don't have anything to hide. I don't want to hide anything from you. Like, you need to feel safe and the people who care about you need to also feel like you're safe. And there'd be times throughout the weekend even that he would like, it's been a while, you need to go give your friend a check-in. <laughs> Send one to Kaylin too. <laughs> Tell him you're still alive. <laughs> it was good. Like, there's not many males who think that far. Like, the burden wasn't just on me to be safe. Um, or to ensure, ensure that that was known. Um, like, he also cared and, and was very proactive in it. It's sad though, Pauline, isn't it? Like, it's sad that we have to be 
so careful. And I know it's not just females, it's males too. Um, it, it's anybody, but... It's sad how many predators there are in this world. So there's, there's some uh, Steven stories for you. We, um, every, every summer my schedule is like a little bit lighter because there's no dance, um, no dance lessons, no, uh, lots and lots of other things. Kate, I do absolutely agree. There's always been trouble. There's always been predators. There's always been danger. We do just know a lot more about them now. That doesn't make it less sad, though. Like, I think it's still sad that there have always been a lot of predators. Um, so every summer, because my schedule gets so much lighter... I, I have like more brain capacity and I always want to play like a game of some kind. Last summer it was Portal Nights. We played Portal Nights, Caitlin and I, a lot. This summer it's been Minecraft. I've been playing Minecraft with Steven and it's got like a, it's not just basic Minecraft, which I've never played because this was my first introduction to Minecraft. And um, he's playing with a, a mod pack called All the, all the Mods. I was going to say all the things, but that's like, that's my thing. All the, all the mods and, and, and you can do a lot of things. But what's, what I really, really am liking about Minecraft is because of how, um, like creative I can be with it like I get to build things I built this um I was like this is like cross stitching you guys you can make you're just making pictures it's pixel pictures you're cross stitching with blocks like that's all this is it's so fun it's so fun I made a circle um of the northern lights in the water um <laughs> and he was like that's so cool and I was like it's just cross stitching like this is so fun <laughs> you get to pick your colors and you get to like lay them all out it was it's it's great I love it I don't, I don't know that we learn how to take better care of ourselves, but I guess it's different, like, because the dangers have shifted a little bit, like, the access to the danger has shifted, so, so has our knowledge of how to do that, also had to shift. <laughs> um, I love digging and collecting, girly. 
There was one time Steven said, so I need, I need platinum. Will you find me platinum? And he gave me like this charm that lets me see where platinum is. Um, and I just went until the charm ran out and got him a lot of platinum. It was, it was so fun. I was like, ah, this is kind of relaxing. Like I just, it's like rage destruction almost. You know, like people are like, oh, when you're angry, like go punch something. And I'm like, I don't want to punch something, but like mindless mining and Minecraft actually like fills that for me. I've discovered. Like, can I just raise this down? Like, whatever it is. Like, can I destroy something that has absolutely no consequence, really? That is, uh... Yeah. That's my thing. much better than punching things or like rage rooms where you can bust up chairs and throw bricks and I don't know hammer up old electronics or whatever that sounds violent I don't like that kind of a thing but I do like I do like the Minecraft destruction, but I also like building in there. Hey, Joyce, how are you? How are walkies? Are you still working on walkies? I have a sneeze like sitting right here. It needs to either go out or come in. <coughs> there it came. It went out. <sighs> Sorry for that. Hi, Sandy. How are you? 39% Joyce. That's got to be looking so good. I admire your dedication to monogamous stitching. Thank you. <laughs> Can't do much about sneezes when they happen. Surprise! That's all. I am excellent, Sandy. Pauline, I use um, Stitch Pal. It's an app. Do you want like a hard copy journal? I 
I have talked to Alara, Shauna. Um, there's a lot of stress happening for Alara. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things going on in life, which is why she's not been around much. Um, there is... I'm trying to think of who it is. I've heard a lot of good things about, um, they're on Etsy. That's the only thing I can remember right now. But I haven't personally tried them. Um, mostly because I do use, I use Stitch Pal. Um, I've been hearing more things about a I think it's a website, Notions, um, but I think that's a pay thing. You don't know how to post a picture to Discord? Um, Joyce, do you use Discord from your computer or a mobile device? Which one? It's, it's easy to pick, post a picture um, once you know what to look for. on your tablet. Okay, so um let me let me open up Discord real quick on my phone. Yours might look a little different from this, not certain, but um and I don't know how well this is going to show up but on my screen there's like this is where you would push to type your message um but there's a plus button right here on mine and when i hit the plus it shows up all my pictures automatically and i would be able to pick the picture that i took or i can open up my camera from here and take a picture if i didn't already take the picture so yours should have that that plus sign i believe it's also a plus sign from the computer um they're they're pretty consistent in how they um discord is discord's um interface is pretty consistent. It, it should it should be the same because I'd, I'd love to see a picture always love to see the pictures of what people are working on
<laughs> Thank you, Joyce. I don't... I love going live and talking with all of you, so... I don't know why I'm just... Haven't so much lately. Well, besides there being Steven, um, actually, in large part, it's because of Steven. Um, but I've been doing a lot of like the health things right like I've been going to the gym more working out more I've been um like doing doing more cooking than not <laughs> lots of like there's been homeschooling. I've also had different trips and stuff. I've been reading. There's just been so much lately. And trying to figure out like a time for being able to go live been crazy. It's been good though. Uh, hold on. My ex is printing or texting me about my daughter. Printed off the full. Oh, <laughs> um, Amy, that depends on how your stitching is. I I love having all the colors, um, and just having like this master set. Even if I don't know when I'll use those colors, sometimes when I'm changing out colors on a project, it just allows me to see everything really nice. And I like just knowing I have it all. <laughs> okay, I need you to not use your claws on me, okay? Thank you. I don't even think I've seen cryptid Christmas cards, but that sounds like an interesting Christmas card. <laughs> um, the dragon at stocking 25 stitches a day minimum. That's good. Have you been able to pretty much keep that stitches? Woodland Enchantress has kind of fallen off. I'll, I'll get back to it once the um, rabbit. Okay, please stop it. Kitty. Stop. Um, once, once the rabbit is done, I will get back to Woodland Enchantress being a, a daily 30. Until I get some other harebrained idea, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Please. No. Kitty kittens? 
we got a view. You want to come say hi to everybody else? Yeah. Just say hi to everybody. There's 46 people here saying hi to you. Show them your face. Say, oh, I'm a pretty kitty. Now go that way. She's using her claws to say hello to my leg. That's not okay. I was so bummed for Alara about like how much of her trip to Japan she missed out on because of getting sick. Um, she did still get to eat food, so like her, uh, she still ate Japanese food once she was sick, but. She was looking forward to this trip so much. She did get to go to a cross-stitching store. Um, so I'm excited for when she shows that to everybody. Sometime when life settles down, which will be a while. <laughs> that's that's a good starting Amy and then you can just collect what you don't have bit by bit like you don't have to get them all at once You made a little bag, girly. You showed that. Are you trying to get it done before the kiddo's born? Because in my head, I, I was thinking like, yeah. In my head, I was thinking that you were trying to get it done like November. It's nice though that your deadline's far enough out that your minimum can be 25 and you're still like, there's a hair because of the kitty and it's somewhere where I can't tell. There, I think I got it. Um, it's like, <laughs> um, anyway, it's far enough out that your minimum count can be so low. Like that still feels manageable, right? Yay. I have a very empty deck outside. I have not ever put furniture on it. That's, I don't know why. I think it's just because I couldn't decide on furniture. No, Shauna, it's... What kind, I, what kind, um, like what's the name of the floss? Like they're not going to mix that in with their normal six strand floss, so. Michael's isn't my closest craft store, so I don't go to it very often.
Oh, there's cat hair everywhere. Attached to my fingers. Everything. Mm. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, because then you've got all the, like, the finishing touches and and you'll have the a month or so to do that part but how fun that you're going to Australia And <laughs> Bluey's in the other ear. <laughs> That's funny. Bluey is like on my list of, I, sh I want to watch it. And I just haven't yet. And I don't have a child to like, make me watch it. It's not really like a making, but like. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've just heard so many great things about Bluey. I don't necessarily. But I mean. Kaylin's 13 now. But. I just hear so much about it that I just want to, I just want to watch it now. I guess. If I, if I told Steven that I want to watch it, he'd make it happen. He might question me also a little bit. Like, really? This is the thing? This is what we're going to watch? Yeah, I'm curious about this new floss, too. I don't stay up on a lot of things clearly, but yeah. It's already been two and a half hours. What? Uh, 
Um, Joyce, all I know is that I will work on my bookshelf and the rabbit. And I think perhaps whip go pieces. <gasps> Michelle, hello, my beautiful friend. How are you? funny because I was thinking about you the other morning and was like I miss Michelle when when is she posting again and then that afternoon you posted in discord I was like oh she's back pain. That's not good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe that's why your stitchy bug was gone. Or still gone? Yeah. Still gone. No stitchy bug for Michelle. Can keep you company a little bit. Soft matte cotton floss. That could be nice for bigger counts since it's not divisible. It's been your right shoulder. What did you do? Your shoulder wasn't one of the problem spots, Michelle. I said she would post a picture in Discord. I showed her how to do it. Possibly a torn rotator cuff. Oh. Aren't the rotator cuffs, like, once you have that as a problem, it always kind of bothers you? Like, it's never really, like, done? I really hope that you're able to figure out what you like for exquisite lace because I loved your original idea but I understand like your struggles with it well 
Well, I could be totally wrong, Michelle. Michelle, I'm wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> I just, it could be the ACL, is ACL this or is that your knee? But isn't rotator cuff the shoulder one that, like, I could, I don't know. Hi, Bex. How are you? We had, um, Tracy was just dealing, was dealing with frozen shoulder earlier this year. She had, she had physio, I do remember that. I am great, Bex. Very, very good. I'm excited because the first break I take from stitching, I'm going to be getting crumble cookies. And I'm trying to only eat one crumble cookie every six hours of stitching this weekend. That's the plan. Rumble cookie just came to Canada. I had a lemon lemon cheesecake a couple weeks ago that was really tasty. Um, it's crumble without the E, but yes, they, um, rotate their flavors every week. And sometimes they have like a mystery cookie day where one of their cookies is different, but it's different in like every store. My location is also a test location, so sometimes they have like a tester cookie, a flavor they're just seeing if other people like. Ooh, the chocolate chip cookie. So I know that their chocolate chip, they, they just started swapping out. Like, so one week it's their normal and the other week it's like their semi-sweet chocolate chip cookie. So now they're swapping that one out every week.
the three nature at home. Yeah. <laughs> All kid ages have great things and not so great things about them. No, I don't. I don't. Why did you come back? You've seen them. Flavors advertised for Canada, Shauna. I've heard of Craig's, but I've not ever had them. Crumble is the closest, like, cookie, cookie store. Okay, how am I passing this? Let's go. Oh, on the Facebook and Instagram pages. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't follow them. I I have the app, and that's dangerous enough for me to have the app. Crumble cookie talk, it's making me hungry. Which is probably, I mean, that's a good thing. I got a lot of fruit from Costco yesterday. <laughs> and Kaylin, Kaylin's like, ah, but I'm not going to get to eat any of it. <laughs> so she had... She had some of the fruit before she went over her to her father's. And it's really good. Like, perfectly ripe and everything. So fruit and crumble cookies. And some other food I don't know yet. That's that's what I'm going to be eating this weekend. But mostly fruit and crumble cookies. Let's be honest. She's not impressed that she can't go in the garden. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it that kids always want, they, they want to do something even more when they can't do it? But once the patio's in, it'll be nice. I got my deck rebuilt a couple years ago because of the... Also for safety reasons. 
aren't adults the same way? Why, yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> You're not allowed to do that. But I want to. Thank you, V. Have a great weekend, too. I'm glad you could join. Yeah, don't tell me that I can't do something. I'm going to want to do it. On, for example, <laughs> on my last floss tube video, I had just finished editing it and it was exporting. <laughs> and I was talking to Steven and he said, Oh, I said, I said that I had a boyfriend and he said, did you put little fireworks up on the screen? And I said, no, but I should have. He was like, no, no, Suki, you shouldn't have. I'm like, but why not? Because it's a ridiculous idea. <laughs> like, why did you tell me a ridiculous idea when you knew I would want to act on that ridiculous idea? So next floss tube video, don't be surprised if I come up with a way to bring up Steven and have fireworks on the screen. That will be the reason why there are fireworks. Because he gave me a ridiculous idea and I wish to act on said ridiculous idea. <laughs> well, that's smart of her to think that way. Like, okay, well, if I can't walk for safety reasons, then you're safer. I've missed her st my stories about her. She's so cute. I mean, I'm sure very frustrating as a parent, but I love her. I love the stories. One, two, three, four. No, oh, my stomach's growling. I was gonna stitch for four hours, but I think I'm only making it three. Oh, that's why, because my camera was having issues, so I got started late. That's why I'm not, my tummy's not happy at me. Uh, yes, girly, I will be on later today. My aim is like nine hours today. Something like that. My breaks would be pretty short still, like at the most an hour. Has to, probably needs to be at least that long so I can go get go get my cookies and have time to eat. 
Couldn't find the fireworks. <laughs> Confetti works just as well as fireworks. I accept. Yeah, oh, girly found the fireworks. I can tell you I am not watching The Witcher, however Steven watched it. He like binge watched whatever just came out. He assures me that it is probably not among my level of comfort to watch. He doesn't really know where that level is yet and he doesn't want to hit it unknowingly. All I know about The Witcher is that the actor of the main character left because he wasn't happy with how the screenplay was being written away from, like he didn't think that the things they were having his character do are things that his character would do. That's what Steven told me. That is all I know. Oh, and that they were looking at Liam Hemsworth, Chris Hemsworth's brother, I think, as a replacement. Liam Hemsworth. Liam is what I wanted to say first, but then I also have a nephew named Liam, and so then I wasn't sure if I was just thinking my nephew and confusing it, or... Um, yeah. It's possible, Rachel. I'm wary with books, too, though. And so. Oops. It's not like I don't have enough to read. I have lots of things to read. Girly, you're going to go with red instead of the green. just finished like a couple books the last couple days and so now I have like an empty slot in my reading that I've been trying to decide like 
I have like an easy read and I have like a more hefty read and I want like a middle grade, not middle grade, but like medium. And I haven't decided what that is yet. Um, where should I stitch this in? All right, Bex. Um, yeah, I, I've been listening to audiobooks primarily on airplanes, actually. Um, I just listen to um tom sawyer and then huckleberry finn for the first time ever those were my last audiobooks but yeah they're great on when i'm flying we have to go to starbucks that sounds like a thing that Kaylin would tell me too. The narrators I have for those books were excellent. I enjoyed those very much. Okay, I am approaching a decision time. That's interesting because especially Huckleberry Finn is one of those books that are getting a lot of or have gotten a lot of like flack for its like racial treatment right um <laughs> I just kept listening uh They don't have those little pip smoothies here, I don't think. Um, but yeah, it's like I'm listening. I was listening to it. I'm like, oh, the antics of boys. They, they just, yep. Hey, <laughs> they're crazy. Hi, Alicia. Are you doing a 24 hours of cross stitch weekend this weekend? Listening to all the Discworld books. Are they really re... Like, why don't they just release... Like, have the old and the new? Lots of books have multiple 
narrators out there. The only Terry Pratchett book I ever really got through was um, We Free Men. We Free, yeah, We Free Men. It's not White We Free Little Men, right? Bye, Bex. That's the spirit, Alicia. Get as far as you can. We all love a good excuse to stitch a little bit extra. Uh, Silo? So I hadn't heard of Fourth Wing until you had posted about it, Michelle. So after fourth, like, I don't know what silo is either. I know, everyone's here. We have so many new people here too, Alicia. It's great. Your letter turned out good. I, I know that there's, you posted it in Discord. I haven't, I haven't looked. Hello, Pip. Come here. Hi. Hello. What do you need? Oh, you're warm. Were you outside? Silo is an old book that Apple TV turned into a series recently. I see. So are you going to go and reread it because of the TV series? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this really is like a retreat where like you just get to see all the people that you love. Gotcha, Michelle. <laughs> Nothing could live up to the hype. Becca, you know how... Yeah. That that happens a lot, where you're like, ugh, the hype is so much. I finished um, a book on my e-reader. And Fourth Wing was actually one that they was like, I recommend this next. Because I think it's just so many people are reading it lately. Oh, come on. Lurking's always acceptable. The only person not allowed to lurk is me. <laughs> ah. 
It's crazy that that fabric does that, Kate. That it's that it's so wonky on your eyes. You need to hide more. <laughs> you never get stitching. <laughs> but you... You get the community. That's amazing. Hunger Games... Meets Dragons. That's what Fourth Wing is? Or, or Silo? No, Fourth Wing. YA is not bad, though they definitely have their style of writing, don't they? Okay, here, here is your time to stitch. I... I'm definitely going to want, I want to make it to four hours before I go and eat, but my bladder is not going to make it to four hours. So I'll be right back. You can talk or stitch, but oh, oh, my legs. Sore. I'm back! Silo is dystopian. You should engage more. Sarah, you can engage just as little or as much as you want to. Brandon Sanderson is so good, Alicia. Um, I am reading him in publication order. He's so good. Brandon Sanderson is not your typical YA author by any means. Like, I love how he changes his writing style, too. It's just, hi, Sharon. Happy weekend for you.
so my first exposure to Sanderson was Elantris. Um, and then Mistborn. And from there, like I I just I just loved him and when he came up with when he did his Kickstarter for all his new books this year. Um, <laughs> that's funny, Sharon. <laughs> Hi, Devil Sharons. Hello. Um, so yeah, the, um, I signed up for his Kickstarter only having read two of his books. Um, but because I'm reading him in publication order, it's going to be a long time before I can read these books, but they're beautiful, beautiful. Okay, Alicia, Wheel of Time. That is, it's, it's something that I'm really, I don't know. I've read the first like five and a half books of Wheel of Time. So do I like just pick up in Wheel of Time so that I can read Brandon Sanderson's portion of it? when I get to that part in publication order? Or do I like just skip the Wheel of Time books altogether? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, his, I just read Alcatraz versus the Evil Librarians. And like the way that he writes that is, is very different. The third one came yesterday for me, Becca. It is beautiful. It's downstairs or I would like show it off, but it's already on my bookshelf. It's beautiful. Wheel of Time is slow and they're, that's why I'm kind of like, and because it wasn't like his original, I'm okay with skipping them and just going through all of Sanderson's like, according to publication. Next up is the third Mistborn book. So I'm, I'm very much near the beginning of his publication books. But I did buy, um, oh, that tickles. Thank you, Kitty. Three of the four of the Stormlight Archive books on Prime Day because they are um, like the hardbacks were like over 50% off and so I they, the second book wasn't but so I have books 1, 3, and 4 in the hardbacks now ready to go yeah okay Becca and Alicia, I like this. Because that's kind of what I was aiming for. But then, like, my completionist heart was, like, wanting to pull me into doing all of them. But then I would, I knew that meant that I was going to have to read the Wheel of Time in order to get to that point. And... But I think Sanderson is kind of a master at morphing his writing style. Because the Alcatraz books read very, very differently from his, like normal books but then there's other ones there was one that I read a review on but I haven't read it where it was talking about like this was another experimental style for him I just I love it this is why I like Sanderson so much and having not even read all that many of his books <laughs> he's just so good okay you are preventing me from stitching Thank you. Oh, and Alicia? uh that that new 
toy for live streaming that I was telling you I needed to try out. I am now trying it out. And I really like it. So I will... I will let you know what it is. <laughs> I will let you know what it is. I will also um, be letting you know... I'm, I'm making a video. I will make a video on my live stream setup because I do get a lot of questions about it. And now that I have this, it's right here, this thing, <laughs> it allows me to give maybe a slightly better recommendation to people. Hey, Peroska. How are you? How's life? Koala Crafts, hello. You must be from Australia, but isn't it like really late there? I had an, an Aussie earlier today on here and it was like 1030. It makes a really good setup and I'm actually quite excited for what this is going to allow me to do. Um, it's not just for lives um, for me, like I have other ideas with it. So I'm excited. Um, okay, Kate, so I, 30 more minutes, and then I will get off and eat and stuff, um, and then an hour, probably like an hour beyond that is when I'll start again, more or less, that, that's the vague plan, and that's how I do 24 hours of cross stitch, right? <sighs> I think having different angles for technique videos are fantastic, really. Proska, you're able to do 24 hours of cross stitch too. Yay. I think people, uh, people, um, just need to, like, seeing things from different angles also can be really helpful and, like, especially if they're feeling like a beginner to a craft or to a particular technique within that craft. It can help them troubleshoot what's going wrong or pinpointing like maybe I don't know what went wrong, but this does not look the same. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. I always love 24 hours cross stitch weekend. It's the best. It's 
It's like retreat time. Retreat, but with no vendors, so you're not tempted to spend any money because of it, right? a song stuck in my head but it's not even a song I like so I don't know why and I haven't heard it in a very long time so why is it in my head Talking about books, I have a question, and I'm going to phrase this um, there's an aspect I want I want left out of this discussion. What um, What do you think about Harry Potter as a story? We're leaving the author out of this and however you feel about who she is and what she does and whether or not you want to support her. I'm just like, if you have ever read the Harry Potter books, like, what do you think of it as a story? We can talk writing style too, though, if you'd like. I'm just separating out author and story in this particular discussion. But I'm very curious. It's something that has been coming up in different circles for me lately. Jim Dale is a great narrator. I agree with that. The new illustrated versions are beautiful as well. Becca, I think that's where I'm sitting at with the nostalgia from like reading it growing up. Um, versus like if I were to encounter Harry Potter today, like now, would I like it? Um, Joyce, yes, like what Michelle said. Um, the author is, is very publicly transphobic. Um, 
a lot of classic tropes. There's that's that's true. There's a lot of good things. I haven't I haven't heard of Septimus Heap. Um, that's totally fine, Alicia. So, uh, <laughs> you don't need to hide on that one. <laughs> um, yeah, the audiobooks were great, um, for sure. I... I grew up with Harry Potter like I was his age as they came out until like the end. Um, one thing that I really enjoyed about how it was written is that I think she did a very good job at representing like teenagers aging up like 11 year old Harry is not the same as 15 year old Harry. Um, like they all grow and um, I did like that. What I need to be doing is writing these down. I have a page right here titled 24 Hours of Cross Stitch for me to like write down the things that we come across. Um, like we talked. There's something, yeah. And Septimus. Heap, right? Yes. Hong J. You just acquired the electronic. <laughs> nice, Jessica. Ah, way to dive right in. I love it. I think that she would have done really well with, like, good editing. Oh, yeah, Joyce. I think she wasn't an experienced writer, Alicia. Um, I also feel like she has a bit of a need for fame complex. Um, like, because I feel like she kept trying to go shock. Like, once the Harry Potter series was over, that's when she came out with, oh, well, Dumbledore's gay. And when that, when, when people were just like, okay, 
That's fine. She, like, started doing more and more things, and now she's, like, super publicly transphobic and things. And, um, like, I think that there's a quite a bit of that. Like, and the movies were coming out, and yes, what Kate's saying here, like, she was getting a lot of I won't I don't want to say fame and fortune but she based she was basically now you're noteworthy <laughs> you're funny Joyce <laughs> okay not the thing is is that Tolkien the way Tolkien writes or and how he wrote those yes I love learning about Tolkien so much. I have not read anything else ever by J.K. Rowling besides the original books. That's it. The series has seven and then there's a sequel trilogy. Tolkien can be hard to read, but if you've never read any Tolkien and you want Lord of the Rings kind of Tolkien, um, Hobbit is a good place to start because it is an easier and shorter read. The full cast recordings of Redwall is on my Audible wish list. So, Tolkien and Lewis, C.S. Lewis, were like besties right and their friendship was almost ruined because Lewis put Santa Claus in his Narnia books I love learning about them <laughs> those two uh... I've never read Redwall, but it's been on my list for forever. So many books have been on my list for forever. It is definitely hard to get to them all. I think you told me that before, Sharon. That's fun. <laughs> um, Kate, that's fun. How would you how do you keep them straight? Like who gets what character, you know? I love reading aloud too, but I don't I don't have quite that variety of, uh, or repertoire of voices and accents to give.
Um, Michelle, about your comment with your son. So what I did with, with Kaylin was that I didn't want her to... Um, get like super sucked in and I wasn't willing to like just hand her the stories when she was like eight when a lot of kids start reading them and stuff um so we waited and I think we started when she was 10 and then they were just part of like a read aloud and then we just did like one a year and that gave her like exposure to the story but because she had to wait and couldn't just like go all into them she could still like develop in other ways and now she's she's very Kaylin I mean uh she has issues with the author and and that she's like yeah i like the story well enough but eh, you know like it's not great like she recognizes that it's not like great quality and so it's turned out it's turned out okay to do it that way i don't know That's true, Kate. I mean, like, you have a great approach, but still, like, that's, that's a lot of variety. You have a lot of variety. Yeah, like, as a parent, I didn't feel, like, bad for making, making her wait. Um, and it wasn't like she was super chomping at the bit to get to them either. It was just that she knew people who was reading them and really liked them. And so it was something that she wanted to experience, but she understood that we were just going to wait. Yeah, when you can differentiate those things, like it's okay to enjoy the story without agreeing with like the author's personal choices in life. Um, well, personal choices that she's made public, but. know like and I understand that there's people who who she is doesn't have any bearing on them like how often do we think about who the author is or who uh, the director of a movie is or something like how often do we think that much the only thing is that it's so public and controversial with her um like that's why we know so much about that, right? And so, I don't know, like for some people that's, that's fine. Like you still want to engage in the world? There's, I don't think that that's a problem. 
if it's not a problem for you. But everyone's going to feel differently on that. It's a, it is a good way to teach or to help reinforce like conscientious consumerism. Like that, it's okay to have those discussions with our children. We actually have those discussions more because of Kaylin. Like she will boycott music that she likes listening to because of like the companies basically the producers of the group are are doing bad things or something like that um and so we those kind of discussions come up quite a bit because she does that And she, she's like, it's hard. I want to support the group, and I, and I think that they're doing great things, but, but the people behind them are, are not good things. And, like, yeah, that's hard. It's hard to make that decision. When do you buy from a company? Because that's who has the product that you want. And when do you not because, like, that's really bad or something. Like, the, the product may be good, but the people behind it aren't. Yeah. Um, stuff like that has been coming out so much more. Um, it, the last several years, I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. I'm not sure that it needs to stop, uh, but I don't think that it's being approached well. I don't think that, I don't think whitewashing history is the right answer. Cat's licking my leg again. Ow! Ooh. No! I left my door open so that Pip could go in and out. Easily. But Jaden just wants to love me. Um, I yes, I th it did, girly. Um, like it's hard to not offend somebody, but I think it's it's it, it's possible if we're willing to just have. Conversations like this.
it's it's about it it's not necessarily like covering up history although i do think there is that i also think that it is putting a modern lens on the past like we have cars why didn't people 300 years ago have cars okay well our cars are built on what people over the course of 300 years have done you know so to to uh, to say why did why didn't their mindset why aren't their mindsets the same as our mindsets i think are harder it's it's harder to catch that that's what we're doing uh just a few days ago sharon what you said um is reminding me of this a few days ago i read uh it was about conversations actually <laughs> and listening but what he said was like it's you need to assume that the other person may have something that you don't know um like you shouldn't assume that you know everything and that you are right but um not but unless you are perfect you don't know everything. Like, isn't that a good, like, gauge? Unless you're perfect, you don't know everything. So keep learning. Book banning and censorship is definitely a scary thing. See, yeah, Joyce, especially I think the the older you are and the more times that you have gone through, like, I mean, you've been through seven decades. So that's a lot that you have experienced. And so you can see how things have shifted. I think book banning is the easy answer for people and that's why they go for it. They'd rather just ban the book rather than have the conversation. But we need those conversations. We need to have them, so. We should just keep having them. Guys, I've done 1,016 stitches and we're just about at four hours. I think that when I come back, I will work on a different project. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to say I'm gonna take a picture. I think I'll work on rabbits next. This is looking real good. I got quite a lot. I did a lot, all of this stuff. Here. It's much better to develop your mind rather than just not. Uh, 
Uh, Amy, also remember that this is 10th stitch. So between 10th stitch, double handed, and using just one color, um, it goes it goes pretty fast. One thousand and sixteen. It's crazy. Just two hundred and twenty eight thousand three hundred and forty four stitches to go. Gotta make my graphic. Sixty-eight point thirty-nine percent. What's today? The 21st of July. Can you believe that we're over halfway through July? Crazy. If you had done your duckies in tent, you'd be finished. <laughs> uh, isn't that the truth? Okay. I will be back. My aim is about an hour, so maybe less. No idea. <laughs> Who knows? It's vague, but we're four hours in. This is great. Okay. Much love. Mwah. I'll see you guys later, and if you aren't here later, I'll see you later, later.